Hi there, my name is Kenzie. I'm offering you a restorative yoga practice today here in the Everyday Counts program space. As you can see, restorative yoga does require a few props. So I've got two thick bed pillows. These could be bolsters, these could be couch cushions, rolled up sleeping bags, whatever you've got. And I've got two folded blankets here. Any thickness will do. We can work with what we've got at home for sure. Uh, yeah, and any other props you'd like. You'll notice I'm wearing a toque. I'm also wearing socks. No sweater, but I might regret it. Uh, so it's always nice to have an extra blanket over you and lots of layers. So let's begin by making ourselves comfortable. Our first relaxation pose is usually reclined on our back. What I'm gonna suggest is maybe using one of these blankets for under your head um, and using both pillows for under your knees, but that um, could be reversed. So you've got a pillow under your head and maybe an extra blanket under your knees. And to get your legs over those pillows, it might feel nice to kind of lower yourself onto your side and then hoist those lovely legs over the pillows and then lower yourself down. But it might be about lying down, hugging the knees to the belly and then finding your way with those legs. And so let's make ourselves comfortable here. Adjust the head, adjust those legs. You'll notice with me and my short legs, my feet are hovering. But if you don't like the feeling of that dangle and you've also got short legs, you could remove one of those pillows. You might want that second blanket over your body for warmth, even just so the backs of your arms aren't feeling chilly. And so perhaps closing your eyes here, that sometimes helps us tune in to our own comfort. With eyes closed, ask yourself if there are any other tiny adjustments you could make to improve your comfort. Please know that you're welcome to move in any of these poses to increase your comfort. You can also stay in any of these poses for as long as you are comfortable. Ah, so as you settle in, perhaps beginning to breathe through your nose. And now beginning to tune in to the rise and fall of your belly. As much as possible, we try to employ the relaxation breath pattern in this practice, which is a soft, deep inhale that expands the abdomen and a softer, slightly slower exhale. And these aren't the most full or complete inhales or exhales. This is just allowing the inhale to land deep and the exhale to move slowly back out. Letting that inhale again begin any time that feels natural and that exhale to emerge again very naturally. If it helps you to keep your hands on your belly here, to keep tuning in to the breath. Today's practice, I thought we'd weave in some yoga nidra body scans here and there. Also, as we rest here for a few more minutes, we'll begin with a, a short yoga nidra inspired body scans with eyes closed, breathing through your nose. I'll locate your right hand thumb. Second finger, third finger, fourth finger, pinky. All four fingers and thumb together. And back of the hand, palm of the hand, right wrist. Elbow, shoulder, 
armpit, waist, right hip, knee, ankle, top of the foot, sole of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. The whole right side. The whole right side. Left hand thumb, the first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. All four fingers and thumb together. Back of the hand, and palm of the hand. Right wrist, sorry, left wrist, left elbow, left shoulder, armpit, waist, left hip, knee, ankle, Top of the foot, sole of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. And the whole left side. the whole left side. And the whole right side. And the whole left side. Both sides together. Both sides together. Let's tune in to that soft, deep in breath. Softer, slower out breath. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last.
As you complete those breaths, uh, notice if you feel a deep need to remain where you are. And if so, please feel free to do so for as long as you're comfortable. If it suits you, perhaps rest a hand to the belly and one to the chest. And ask yourself, no, offer yourself some sweetness here. A kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. And from here, we're going to invite some movement. It could be your fingers or toes, your wrists or ankles. You might yawn, you might stretch. And again, if you're feeling ready to move, you could bend your knees, you could hug those knees into the belly, you could even hold on to the shins, a little rock from side to side. And then perhaps rolling yourself all the way over, perhaps to your right side, resting your head on your arm. And pressing that top hand into the floor. Let's guide ourselves upright and we'll come to hands and knees tabletop position. So moving those props out of the way, adding extra support under your knees if you need it. All of these in-between movements are completely optional. So you could be on forearms, you could be on fists if the hands are uncomfortable flat. We're gonna begin some cat-cow, gentle rounding through the spine, and then gentle arching. This can be the tiniest bit of movement it sort of feel like your kind of mid spine is kind of pulling up. Everything follows and then sort of pressing down. You could close your eyes and notice how it feels to move. Almost like a jellyfish, it reminds me, this kind of fluid underwater type feel. We'll do this a few more times. Opening through one side of the body as the other side closes a little bit. Maybe there's a little sense of stretch and engagement, but we're trying to stay in that place of kind of openness before stretch, kind of easy movements here. So a couple more either direction. And then we'll come back to center and find a way to comfortably watch me. If this is a familiar pose we're going into, feel free to move right into it. Or I can show you a couple different options for comfort here. Um, so this is a supported child pose or a supported prone pose. And the second version, um, there won't be any knee bending. So if you already know, that's the one for you. Hang in there. Um, so for those who like the child pose version, notice I'm getting a little close to these pillows. I'm bringing my knees kind of apart and either end here, and then pressing into those pillows as I drape myself over them. I'm turning my head to one side um, if I need to bring my head closer to the side so I'm not twisting it as so far in one direction, that's great. Um, also, you might have to adjust breast tissue here, or if there's too much compression in the abdomen, you can always make a little more space for the belly. Yeah. 
So if this doesn't serve you, um, or if there's a lot of elevation between the hips and the heels, you could wedge a pillow or a blanket in there. Um, but if the deep knee bend is really an issue for you, that's okay. We've got another great option. So if you like the child pose option, move into it, start getting comfortable. If you'd like this other variation, what you'll need is to stack maybe one, maybe two blankets at the top of your bolster. And then we're getting right on top of the bolster and lowering ourselves down onto it with that little space between the face and the blankets so I can rest my forehead on the blankets um, and have my head at a comfortable angle and my face totally free for breathing. I see that with my ponytail. Now you'll notice the feet here. For some people, they're gonna have to keep those toes tucked under because the tops of the feet are quite uncomfortable in this extension. Um, so another trick here would be to place a pillow or a blanket under the knees. And if one of those blankets could go there, it just, it's interesting that sometimes it's the foot um, extension or flexion that is less comfortable. So I've got space, and even if the breast tissue is quite tender today, you could actually let the breasts hang free. So come for, far enough forward, and then you might need to cross your hands to support your head. Either way, you might need to cross your hands to support your head. So hopefully you've got a position that you can work with here. Any, any version that works. Yeah. And keep getting settled in. And know that at the halfway point, I'm gonna invite you to turn your head to the other side if you're in the, the, the child pose variation. So we're closing our eyes, noticing if we're comfortable making any adjustments we need to, to increase our comfort. Even maybe you have an adjustment that I haven't thought of that you might find unique to your needs here, your comfort needs. And tuning into that relaxation breath pattern. A soft, deep in breath. Softer, slower out breath. And feel the belly expanding with the inhale. And because there might be some compression to the belly, you want to invite that inhale into the low back and into the waist as well, allowing the breath to expand you in all directions. As you exhale, you can soften through the waist and the low back as you settle onto the soft support beneath you. Again, we'll continue this yoga nidra body scan. So let's notice the tops of our feet. The top of the right foot, top of the left foot, and both together. Right shin, left shin, both together. In front of the right thigh, front of the left thigh. both together. And 
right groin, left groin, both together. Right side abdomen, left side abdomen, both together. Right side chest, left side chest, both together. The front of the right arm, front of the left arm, Both together. And palm of the right hand. Palm of the left hand. Both together. Front of the neck, the lower jaw, bottom lip, top lip, both together. Right nostril, left nostril, both together. Right cheek, left cheek, both together. Right eye, left eye, both together. Right ear, left ear, both together. The forehead, the crown of the head, the entire front of the body, the entire front of the body. If you've turned your head to one side, very slowly turn your head to the other side. And settling back into your pose, closing your eyes. the crown of the head, the back of the head, the 
the back of the neck. back of the right arm and the back of the left arm both arms together and the back of the right hand the back of the left hand, both together. The right side of the back. The left side of the back, and both sides together. The right foot up, the left foot up. Both sides together. In the back of the right thigh. In the back of the left thigh. both together. The right calf, the left calf, both together. The right heel, the left heel, and both together. The right sole, the left sole. Both together. The entire back of the body. The entire back of the body. The entire front of the body. The entire back of the body. Both sides together. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last.
And again, if you feel a deep need to remain right where you are, please feel, the do, feel free to do so for as long as you are comfortable. If you're ready to move on in the practice, perhaps wiggle the fingers or toes. Slowly bring your hands under your shoulders as you push the mat away. Perhaps bring your head back to center and check in here. Yeah, if you were in the child pose variation, as we come back to our tabletop, please feel free to reach one leg out behind and then the other a few times, um, even just pressing through one a few times just to open up that knee joint. You're welcome to do this if you weren't in the child pose variation, it just might feel nice to be on your forearms here. Just a chance to open up the knee joint. So when you feel ready, uh, we are going to return to our cat-cow movement. Again, on forearms or fists or palms, completely optional. Skip ahead if you need to. Um, so again, like that jellyfish, we're rounding. And we're arching that fluid underwater feeling. I'm not sure why it reminds me of a jellyfish, but it does. Perhaps closing your eyes. And your soft, deep in breath supports the movement. Softer, slower out breath. Keeps it going. A couple more times, either direction. And we'll meet back at center. This time we're gonna bring our legs out in front of us. Yeah. So the next pose is a very supported back bend. I'm gonna give a recommendation for how to use these blankets to support the arms um, and also how to adjust the legs to really support the low back here. So you'll notice I folded my blankets similarly so they have a similar kind of thickness here. I'm bringing them out to the side for now like so. And now I'm placing the pillows on top of each other towards the top of my mat. I'm going to sit at the base here. And to keep those legs nice and comfortable, I'm going to take the feet wide. So right at the edges of the mat, knees bent, turn the toes in slightly, rest the knees against each other. That generally keeps the low back comfortable in this pose. And once we move into it, if it's feeling um, too deep and too stretchy, you could remove one of those pillows. So you'll notice I'm gonna kind of lean into the pillows as I come back. I might need to scooch the hips forward a little bit, especially if you've got a long torso like mine, so that when I lean back, my head feels supported. It hasn't fallen off the end of the pillow. And then I can adjust where these blankets are. See how they're nicely under my arms so my arms aren't in as deep a stretch? And you could bring them closer to your side body to get even less stretch. You could take them even wider out and have a bit of eagle wings here if you're just looking for more. And of course, you could remove the blankets to get into that fuller expression or even reach the arms overhead if that's what you need today, even changing those arm positions throughout. Again, noticing the feet are wide and the knees are bent and even checking in with the low back. So if there's a, a bit of space there where you want to move one pillow down a bit, um, you know, it's going to be different for everyone here. So really taking your time to be comfortable. And again, as the knees rest together, hopefully that allows the low back and the legs to get really relaxed as well. All right. So closing your eyes, assessing your comfort. Remember, we're looking for that place of openness before stress. Starting to tune into the belly, which might feel very, not exposed, but just very open. Same with the chest. There's the sense of opening the front body to the roof, to the ceiling. 
which allows for that gentle expansion of the inhale to feel very available. And that slow exhale, letting the chest soften, the body get heavy. Again, we'll return to that yoga nidra body scan. Mm, right hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. All four fingers and thumb together. And palm of the hand, back of the hand. Right wrist, elbow, shoulder, armpit side body, waist, right hip, knee, ankle, top of the foot, sole of the foot. All right, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. The whole right side. the whole right side. Left hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. All four fingers and thumb. Palm of the hand, back of the hand. Left wrist, Elbow, shoulder, armpit, side body, waist. Left hip, knee, ankle, top of the foot, sole of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, and the whole left side, and the whole
whole left side. The whole right side. the whole left side. Both sides together. Both sides together. Let's come back to that soft, deep in-breath. Softer, slower out-breath. We'll offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little bit longer than the last. If you feel a deep need to remain right where you are, please feel free to stay here for as long as you are comfortable. If you're ready to move on in the practice, maybe there's a little wiggle of the fingers or toes. A slow turn of your head. Oh, yawn, a stretch. Maybe even a little wrap of your arms around yourself. Give yourself a hug. Well, probably the easiest way to move out of this pose is to slowly roll over to one side. You could use that blanket to support your head or your arm to support your head. And maybe a little, a little rest here on your side. Let's press our hand into the floor to come upright. So we have time for one more short uh, counter pose here, and then we'll move into our final relaxation pose. Um, but this is what I will suggest. So we're gonna sit on one of these blankets, and we're gonna bring a pillow under our knees, and then a pillow over our belly and thighs. We're gonna rest over this and maybe rest our forehead on our crossed arms, or maybe even build this up a little bit. We want space to breathe though. So if you wanna build 
this blanket a lot higher so you're not leaned forward as much, that's fine. And the idea is that we're resting on our sitting bones. We're not having to round back a lot through the low back. We're kind of starting upright, hence the sitting on the block. Knees nice and bent, supported by a pillow. And then we can rest forward from there. Hopefully there's space to breathe. You have to push that, your hands and your blanket further away here if you notice there's space here. So we'll only rest here for about three minutes, uh, maybe four, really listening to your back, the gentle shifting of belly towards thighs. We're not rounding much through the low back. It's kind of about draping and letting the upper back round forward. We're starting to breathe into the low back, expanding. Softening with the exhale. Remembering that inhale needs to expand into the back and the waist. Exhale, settling the upper body over the lower body, that sense of draping. Expanding into the back with each inhale, expanding or draping the upper body over the lower body with each exhale. And this is a great pose to really extend those exhales for as long as is comfortable. Just using that exhale to soften and settle and droop. Letting gravity take your upper body and drape it over your lower body. As if by extending that exhale, you're gonna gently Coaxing that back body to open. We'll be here for about one minute more. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last. As you complete those breaths, please know you can stay here for as long as you are comfortable. If 
you're ready to move on to the next pose, again, tune into your fingers and toes. Give them a wiggle. And walk your hands under you. And push into that blanket to really slowly bring that spine back upright. Um, and so our final pose will be just like the first one. Um, so maybe it's a blanket under your head or maybe it's a pillow under your head. Or maybe it's one pillow under your knees and maybe it's two. Or maybe this blanket you are sitting on is going to go over your body. So the other option here is to get those legs over your pillow, pillows and then lower yourself down. Making any adjustments to increase your comfort, whether that's warmth or support. Whatever it takes. Sometimes even tucking the ends of those blankets under your arms so that your arms aren't touching any cold floor, especially if you want them away from the body and off the mat. Yeah, notice if your knees want to be close or maybe further away. Maybe the legs and feet want to roll over a bit. Or yeah, maybe the soles of the feet want to touch. Or the heels. So you can play here. And inviting a little openness to those inner thighs. As you close your eyes, again, you're noticing from the inside out whether you're comfortable and continuing to adjust. Your comfort matters most. Once more, we'll tune into that breath, soft and deep, inhale. Soft and slower, exhale. And we'll return to that body scan once more. And starting at the tops of the feet, the top of the right foot, Top of the left foot, and both feet together. The right shin, left shin, both sides together. Front of the right thigh, front of the left thigh. And both sides together. The right groin, left groin. Both together. Right side abdomen. Left side abdomen. And both sides together. Right side, chest. Left side, chest. Both sides together. Front of the right arm. Front of the left arm. Both arms together. Front of the right hand. 
front of the left hand. Both together. Front of the neck. Lower jaw. Bottom lip. Top lip. Both together. Right nostril. Left nostril. Both together. Right cheek. Left cheek. And both together. Right eye. Left eye. Both together. Right ear. Left ear. Both together. The forehead. the crown of the head. The entire front of the body. The entire front of the body. The crown of the head. Back of the head. Back of the neck. Back of the right arm. Back of the left arm. Both together. Back of the right hand. Back of the left hand. Both together. Right side of the back. Left side of the back. Both sides together. Right buttock. Left buttock. Both together. Back of the right thigh. Back of the left thigh. Both together. Right calf. Left calf. Both together. Right heel. Left heel. Together. Right sole. Left sole. Together. Right 
the entire back of the body together. Entire back of the body together. The entire front of the body together. The entire back of the body together. Both sides together. The whole body together. The whole body. The whole body. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last. If it suits you, resting a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest. Offering yourself some sweetness, that kind word, prayer, affirmation just for you. If you feel a deep need to remain where you are, please feel free to do so for as long as you are comfortable. When you are ready to move, maybe start with the fingers, the toes, a yawn, a stretch, and then eventually roll to your side and make your way slowly upright. This is where I will leave you. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions or concerns, always feel free to reach out to us at the Everyday Counts program. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.